Hey, I'm Starlight the Wild Witch. Welcome to my channel. And joining me today is my hubby, Mr. Wild Witch. Sure, why not? <laughs> so I'm really excited to be participating in the 12 Days of Yule. This tag was created by Ivy the Occultist, and I'll be leaving a link to her original video all about the tag, as well as to her channel down in the description. So check those out if you haven't already. But before I get into this, I just wanted to say thank you so much, Ivy, for putting this together. I'm really excited to jump in on this and hopefully do all 12 days. That's my goal, but we'll see what happens, because <laughs> uh, life. But the prompt for today is share a winter solstice ritual or tradition, or somewhere along those words. <laughs> I don't quite remember, but the text will be up on the screen. We have several Yule traditions here in the Wild Witch Cottage, but the one I wanted to share with you today and bring you along for is setting up our Yule tree and adding a little extra enchantment to it. So the way we do this is we create a witch ball, a spell ball, spell orb, whatever you want to call it, and we'll pick, we'll each pick an intention to put into this uh, witch ball and the witch ball will go up on our tree and we'll keep it in our house all throughout the year. This is like a nice way to set new intentions for the new year. So the intention I chose is healing. What are you going with this year? Probably prosperity. You know what? We're repeating the same ones we did last year. I'm fine the with that. The exact same ones. I'm fine with that. Um, but what do you think of adding a third one in as well? Sure. Happiness? Fine. So healing, happiness, and prosperity. I like to work in threes. So does that sound good to you? Sure. Okay. We're going to get the camera set up and bring you along. <laughs> Let's get started. So we got some cedar and the cauldron here. Oh. And we're going to cleanse the vessel. Let the smoke hopefully get into the vessel. The breathe. And the cap. And the outside. We already let smoke go into the inside, so. I tried to pick ingredients that best correspond with the season. So for yours, I chose cinnamon. Cinnamon is related to prosperity, success, and it kind of amplifies the energy of spells as well. So we're going to go add that into our vessel here. Your cinnamon. You wanna put your bay leaf in there? There we go. And I'll be spending a lot of time with this on my own, charging it with my energy and putting my intent in there, so that'll happen before it goes on the tree. And next, we're doing happiness. There's my bay leaf there. Sorry for the shadow. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to add in my bay leaf here for happiness. Thinking about happiness in general here. So the ingredient I chose for happiness is orange because to me personally orange I associate with happiness as well as positive and joyful energy as well so let me see if I could 
fit it on in there. Ooh! <laughs> it's a tight squeeze. Let's see. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to, like... There we go. So we got that in there. It looks a little wonky, but that's okay. <laughs> You can use lavender for healing, and you can also use pine for healing. I don't have pine, that's why I was going to choose lavender. I don't really feel like lavender is a very wintry herb. Um, I heard that fur needles can be a substitute for pine. So, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm just going to stick with lavender and see how that goes. I prefer to work with herbs that correspond to the season. That way I feel like I'm working alongside the cycles of nature, but like, you don't always have what you need, so you gotta go with what you have. Lavender for healing. I might honestly add a little bit of Luna's fur in here later. Mm -hmm. um, so if y'all don't know, our Corgi Luna, she has lymphoma, which is a form of cancer and I chose healing as an intention, not just for her, but for our family, because we're really, we're really going through it right now, and we can use some healing. <laughs> I'll clean up this lavender and get it added off camera, that way you guys don't see me struggle. I should have used a funnel, but I didn't think of that. Make it a mess. <laughs> Witchcraft is messy though. Okay. I'll get the rest of that in there. I almost forgot. So, I'm gonna add some clear quartz chips in there. And this is to amplify the energy of the spell. So I'm going to spend some time with this, putting my intent into here, charging it up with my energy, and then we're going to go put it on the tree. We've already decorated the tree, and this is the last thing to go on there. So, see you in a minute. Oh, there we go. So we're going to have some Dead of Night on in the background. This is like the winter cottage one while well, we set up the tree. You just take the tripod. I can't see behind me. <laughs> Get your nose out of there. There we go. You want to look at the box too? <laughs> Don't chew on the bin, Lily. <laughs> Why are you so bitey today?
So that was day one of the 12 days of Yule. And if you're participating in the challenge, I can't wait to see your videos and what your traditions are. And if you like, feel free to share one of your Yule traditions or winter solstice rituals. I'd love to know, so feel free to share below. And I hope to see you tomorrow for day two. Until then, 